Hello and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg and Jessica and I today are going to be making some candy of a small sports car orbiting a red planet. Last week I got a notification about a tweet about somebody telling Elon Musk to check out my candy. I thought this was amusing, but then there were other tweets telling him to try to collaborate with me. And if you're subscribed to this channel, you'll know that there's a story behind this. So this is a story about two billionaires. The first one is Elon Musk. Elon Musk invents things. He started with PayPal. You may have even used it today to buy candy off us. He then followed it up with the boring company Tesla and SpaceX sending rockets into space, making electric cars and drilling holes under Los Angeles. The second character's name is Warren Buffett. He's known as the Wizard of Omaha. He's a financial genius, sort of equated with the Wizard of Oz, but in Wall Street circles. He also is a good amateur musician, and he speaks often on investment matters. So Warren Buffett, in one of his speeches, talked about Elon Musk's company Tesla, the car company, and he said it didn't have a moat around it. And moat here is a term that Warren Buffett coined, meaning a protective barrier against competition. I interpret it as people are interested in electric cars, but not specifically Tesla electric cars. And he used C's Confectionaries, a chocolate company on the West Coast that Warren Buffett owns, as an example of a company with brand loyalty and that really has no competition. So then Elon Musk tweeted he was going to start a candy company and it was going to be amazing. And this is where people started tweeting that I should team up with Elon Musk for a collaboration. Since I figure that'll never happen, I figure I should make the candy on my own. And I'm sort of a fan of Elon Musk, and I'm a fan because I kind of believe he's a cartoon character. You know, he's drilling tunnels under Los Angeles. When I was five, I tried to dig one in my backyard to China. He's copied designs off uh, cartoons, I'm convinced. Like the vertical landing of his spacecraft, it comes right out of a Looney Tunes cartoon. So then the design becomes obvious. Elon Musk has just launched his red convertible into space on the top of one of his SpaceX rockets. Most people, when they test rockets, launch blocks of concrete, but Elon Musk decided to launch his original sports car. He put a white spacesuit in the driver's seat, and he blasted it out of Earth's orbit towards Mars. I guess parking is free before he starts colonization. And Warren Buffett is a singer and is known as the Wizard of Omaha. And by tying these both together, I'm going to make a little car orbiting Mars, but I'm going to get, give you a bit of video that inspired me. Here is the SpaceX footage of that car orbiting Earth, accompanied by Warren Buffett doing vocals. One day I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find me. Why can't you go over the rainbow? I guess it's because you didn't invest in Elon Musk. The best part about this video is not the space shot, but the animation at the end. That isn't Elon Musk. That's the movie Heavy Metal from the 1980s. He copied it and made it real, again, with a Don't Panic sticker on the dashboard. This makes me think that Elon deserves some candy, so let's make him some candy. So far, we've poured the hot candy, we've added food coloring, and we boiled out the water, and we went and we cut it into pieces to create our palette. Now here I am on the candy maker's hook, stretching the candy and folding in millions of air bubbles. The bubbles reflect light and turn the amber sugar white. And we're going to need this in a couple of parts. We're going to work it in for the planet Mars, we're going to use it for the background of the, of the car, and we're also going to use it for the helmet of the astronaut. If you want to try this candy for yourself, you can always come by our shop in Tallahassee, Florida. We're open seven days a week. We don't always make candy, but we often do, and you can see us there. You can also get our candy at our website, which is www.pd.net. And we have lots of other videos, so please check them out. 
Since the background is going to be transparent, it may be black, but it's still transparent, I want the car to be made out of pulled candy. So we're going to use the white, and we're going to mix red into it to make the body of the car, leave some white for the head of the helmet and the windshield, and Jessica is going to mix some white with the black to make a gray for the tires. I'm sorry the angle here is not perfect, but we were supposed to have two video cameras going. One of them did not work and stay in focus, so we're going to make do with the footage that we have. Jessica has made the tires, and I'm assembling them with a black spacer of candy in between that'll match the night sky, so there's a little space under the car. And then I'll be applying the red which I've made for the body of the car. I'm going to shape the body a little later, but it's so small there's not much shape that's going to be able to be applied. While Jessica cools the spaceman's head into a round circle, I'm going to be making the windshield out of a wedge of black once again to match the sky and a little stripe of white for the windshield. To keep its shape, we've got to put black fill around the car. We need the car to remain cool while the fill will be warmer and flow around it when we pull it. Jessica took the remaining unpulled red sugar to the hook with the rest of the white and she pulled it together to leave swirls so that Mars can be kind of a swirly red pattern and not be just this smooth, consistent color. And I have been taking the black, and I've been building the rest of the wrap out of it. I need to put the car in the middle of bla the black, so I'm building up layers with uh, the black outer wrap being thicker and the spacer between Mars being thinner and some fill on the edge. Eventually, I have to build a crescent, and that crescent needs to be cooled so that when we put the body of Mars in it, the two candies are at the same temperature so that they don't distort each other and the image looks good. And all we have left to do is to add the red of Mars to the black of the sky with the car in it and roll it on our table to get it nice and round and to let the temperatures even out. And then all we have to do is pull it and cut it and we'll end up with lots of little cars flying around Mars and candy. Jessica loads the candy onto our batch roller. This machine was made sometime between 1895 and 1910, we figure, and is a big machine designed to roll candy and keep it moving. We can do this by hand, but with the larger batches, the machine makes it much easier. She pulls a taper onto the candy and then pulls it onto the logs, which she cuts and rolls to keep round until they're cool enough. When the candy becomes thin enough, it sheds heat pretty quickly. So once she gets it down to the right diameter, the temperature shift is very quick. The batch roller has two parts. The rear has texture on it which grips the candy and rolls it. The front is smooth that rounds the candy before the final uh, cutting process. We keep the candy rolling as much as possible until it reaches its final temperature, room temperature, to make sure the candy stays round. Not only does it look better this way, it makes it a lot easier to cut. A quick check of the end of a rod and I can tell I got the effect I was aiming for. All that's left is for Jessica to cut the candy. If you want to try this candy for yourself, you can go to www.pd.net and order some. The flavor will be listed there on the website. You can also subscribe to us here on YouTube, like us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you're in Tallahassee, you can come and visit us in person. We don't make candy every day, but we make it lots of days. And we're right off I-10. And now to send some candy to Elon and Warren. I hope you guys are watching, and I hope you like the candy. It's clear we've never sent candy into space, nor have we created a crypto candy. Well, we did, but the blockchain's just dissolved. But there is still something we can beat Elon Musk on. If you place your order today for these little red convertible candies, you won't have to wait three years to get it. Thanks for watching, we do appreciate it, and please remember to subscribe to us here on YouTube. Greg's bow ties are provided by ties.com. Go to the description to find a link for their store, and you can even get a discount.